Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick video on how I fixed lens creep. Uh, so for those that don't know what lens creep is, which I didn't either until I started investigating, when you, I'm walking with my camera, there we go, wiggle it a little bit, you see how these big zooms, they tend to kind of fall down. So even if I'm recording on a tripod sometimes, this camera, there you go, by itself it goes down. So those top down shots, I can't do them because the zoom just keeps going down. The other thing is when you have it slinged behind your back and you're walking, this lens will tend to open up and then go all the way down. And I don't want to be dangling a zoom lens like this. So I've been investigating, and this also happens, for example, this is the new 70-20 um, Canon RF lens. It does have a lock button, uh, so you can lock it and then it doesn't move. But sometimes if you forget, it also happens the same thing. This one's a little stiffer than the other one, but if I'm walking down the street, you can see what happens there. The lens creep happens. So I investigated a lot online on this one and there was a couple of posts on this. One said to open the, the rubber. Hope you guys can see that. There's like three screws uh, to tighten them up. I tried that, didn't work. Tried actually sending it to Canon CPS. Uh, didn't really work. I also saw online there's something called a lens band which is a big rubber that you put on your lens and it keeps it from moving. So when you're actually shooting you take it out and then when you're moving around you put it back on. Two reasons I didn't like. That kind of putting on and off I didn't really like it and second it's massive. I don't want to put that massive thing on my lens. I want it to look like this. So I investigated and I found out about this hack. So these are washers. You've probably used it, it's like little rubber bands, uh, which you've probably used either if you're repairing a watch, so they use it on the back of the watch to, to water seal it, or um, in plumbing, like there's thicker washers than this one, obviously. So what I got is a 30 millimeter um, O-ring washer with one millimeter thickness. And what I do is I take out my lens and I'm gonna put it over my lens. And I'm going to drag it down to where the zoom ring is. So the zoom ring is this one. And I'm going to put it in the notch. I think it's called a notch. In between the zoom ring and the body. So you see the zoom ring moves there. So I'm going to put it in that little notch that you see in between that and this part here, which is the main body. And what that does is a little bit of friction. So it's not enough friction that you can't move the zoom. Uh, let me put this back on my camera. It's not enough friction that you can't move the zoom, but it is enough friction that it doesn't let the zoom go in. So, and it's barely noticeable. You'll see there. So even with your hands, you almost don't feel it because it's stuck in that notch there. So this works for my 24-105 f4 um, lens, but it also works for this bigger one. So this is the 7200 f2.8 and it's the same principle so you just stretch it over these things are pretty stretchy so they resist quite a lot and you see again the notch in between the zoom and the main body you just make sure that it's in that notch there we go almost you can't see it and it does add just a little bit of friction to it so that the zoom doesn't come down. Wait, let me go all the way up. You see? So that's how I fixed it. The other good thing about this is that you can buy this sauce off Amazon. I'll put a link below uh, to where I got them. And they're pretty cheap. So 30 of these washers cost me, I think it's 3.5 pounds, uh, which even if they break, I mean, they're easily replaceable and uh, you can use them almost on any lens. I mean, this is 30 millimeter, 30 millimeters and it works on these thick lenses. Uh, and it also look, works on smaller lenses. Uh, so just get a bag of these and boom, lens creep, lens zoom creep fixed. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more. See you guys next time, bye.